This is Old Mate's Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. All right. Now, back at the beginning of April this year, it seems like a long time ago nowadays, doesn't it? We did the brakes on my 80 series Land Cruiser. We replaced front and rear pads along with two brand new front rotors. A viewer has been in touch and has essentially cracked the SH1Ts with old mate. Apparently I should have done all four calipers and brake lines. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at old mate's backyard tech. It's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Midweek Wednesday and this viewer is effectively effing furious with Old Mate. Um, this is from a viewer by the name of Jason. Hi, I've decided to email you because I am effing furious with your 80 series new break video and know that with YouTube this comment would not be published. You have completely effed up the entire break video. Whilst I agree you should have replaced all four pads and front disc rotors, you however have completely effed up the entire braking system by not replacing all four calipers and brake lines. This is critical to pull up the 80 series. Effectively what you have done is basically kneecap your entire braking system and I wouldn't be surprised if you are unable to pull that vehicle up. Surprised to see that you have not had a serious crash. You F wit. I'm not going to fly off the hammer, although when I read that email last night, I literally did. Um, I hate to, uh, I'm sure Mark and Hobbs and Wayne and Andy and that will back me up on this one. The brake lines are in good condition and the calipers work very well. There is no need to replace them if they still are working. The piston seals are fine. The brake lines are not leaking. They're not cracked. They're in good condition. What this person has uh, forgotten to realize, which a lot of my viewers know, I don't exactly have a lot of money. And therefore, I need to be able to get what I can get to keep the car on the road at the price I can afford. Now, the brakes I've got on those, the front quad piston calipers and the rear single piston calipers, pull that car up. And look, calipers are not cheap especially the quad piston for that vehicle. The single pistons are all right, but the quad pistons are expensive. I am not going to replace brake calipers that are in perfect working condition. The piston seals are fine. There's no brake fluid leak and the hoses are not leaking fluid. And secondly, why replace something that isn't broken? I had to replace the front rotors because the lip was getting bigger across on the outside of the rotor. Okay. The rears are fine. There is no lip on the rear rotor. Now, the drum brakes are shot. I know they are. I've got to do shoes and all that, but I don't have the money. So to that viewer, if you reckon I could have done that entire braking system for cheaper than I did... Please tell me where. I don't replace things on a vehicle unless they need replacing. And if the calipers are still in good nick, why the hell bother? Now, the, 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 
The quad piston calipers on the front of the 80 series are designed to pull up three ton of vehicle. Now we all know that the back of an 80 has two sets of brakes. You've got your pads for your main brakes and your drum for your handbrake. Now my drums are stuffed. I know that, but luckily I've got an auto, which means I can put the brake handbrake on and rip it all the way up and still manage to hold the car because of the auto. So, Jason, I'm skimped for money. If the calipers are working perfectly well and the brake lines are in good condition, it's just they look dirty, but they're not leaking, they're not cracked, the piston seals are perfectly fine. The pistons are in good condition. Why the hell replace all the calipers? That's money I just don't have to pull out of the bank. I've got to skimp for everything I can to keep that 80 on the road. And therefore, if I don't have the money to replace the calipers at the time I've got to do the brakes, and the calipers are in good nick, I'm not going to replace them, and I'm not going to replace the brake lines. If I had the money... Probably not. Why replace something that's not broken? Clearly, this person has money that every time... You, you'd almost make the assumption from that email. Every time they do their brakes, they do their calipers. The other half's father, who was a fully qualified, been in the mechanics industry for over 50 years also backs me up in the fact that the calipers and brake lines are in good nick. Now, if a mechanic's going to back me up on that, then this idiot needs to tell me why I need to replace the calipers. The brake lines are good. The calipers are good. They're still holding pressure. The piston seals are fine. The pistons are fine. Why replace them? You idiot. It's That'd be like saying, you know... um. Uh, the fuel pump in the main tanks had it, so I've got to replace the whole main tank along with the fuel pump and pickup. Or one of my... Uh, it'd be like saying, you know, when the heater tap let go, Right? When the heater tap let go, I should have replaced the heater tap, the hoses, and the core. Why? You're the idiot. Now, Mark, Hobbs, Andy, um, Gaz, even if you want to, what's your opinion? Should I have replaced the calipers and the brake lines when they're still in really good condition and there's no cracks or leaks or bursts or what have you? And if the calipers are still fine... And the seals are still good. The pistons are still in good nick. Why bother replacing the damn calipers? That's actually a lot more money than what I would have, what I got away with replacing front and rear pads along with the front rotors. I got the rotors dead cheap out of Queensland. Auto online. Really good company to deal with. Knew my 80 series. Made sure I got the right brakes for the 93 update as there is a bit of a difference between mine and the early 93, the pads, they're calibrated by Bendix. I mean, you'd make the assumption this guy's going out and putting freaking Metal Kings in his 80 series. But anyway, I'm not going to replace the calipers if I don't need to. If they're perfectly fine and they're not leaking and the seals are still good, the pistons are still good and the brake lines are still good, why bother replacing them? If the, if the brake lines start weeping and leaking, yes, I'll replace them. If one of the calipers starts becoming a bit as your father, I'll replace either both calipers, depending on whether it's front or back, or replace all four calipers. But I'm not going to replace calipers that are in good nick, good working order. And they're still pulling that car up. I'll tell you why I haven't had a car accident. Because I'm not an idiot. I could very easily fly off the handle at this person. I'm not going to. 
but I really could fly off the handle. Because the, what an inane email. The brakes are fine. In fact, to be brutally honest, since doing the pads in that thing and the front rotors, just the pads and rotors, so all four, all front and rear pads and front rotors, the 80 series works better now than it did before I did them. I can pull her up. I have had to pull her up. A few times I've had to pull her up. And it, it, it pulls up perfectly fine. It stops better now than it did before I did the brakes. Now, if the thing's pulling up, especially when I hit the brakes and hit them hard and almost lock it up, except mine won't completely lock up. My wheels won't completely lock up. Um, the, the calipers are clearly working. Half nut. Anyway, before I get more aggro with him, I better stop that video there before I really do fly off the hammer. Stick around, we'll have an old mate's tech acquisitions video coming up for you shortly.